everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week we're going to continue on with our newest releases. So in the Rustic Container set, uh, we have this little boot. And I've gone through and done a few of these projects already, but I love this set and it's really, really versatile. So we've done these two. So we're moving on now to this little um, cowboy boot and we're going to use some other things too. So I've got a little Southwest uh, scene going here. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. And in addition then to the, um, the rustic container set, we're going to use uh, some pieces from the Southwest set. So this cactus right here and the little set of rocks. We're going to use those two. And in the, uh, the garden wagon set, we're going to use these two grasses. So these really tall grasses. In the foliage set, the tiny little grass, this one right here. And then in the flowers. So we're just going to use this long stem. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start out by stamping the boot. And because it is a color, we're going to stamp it in the sepia. So that is that three-dimensional color that we use all the time. It's really versatile. And you have to you have to start with this color because if you start with something that um, is different, like a brown, even even like a, um, a coffee color, like a, a mocha or a, a dark brown, it's not the same. Sepia has um, more of a three-dimensional look to it. It has a mix of colors. And that's just, that's why it works. So we're going to start out with sepia. And this is our first step always, is to begin by pulling the color out of the lines. And always start where you think the color is the darkest. So if you look at this boot, it, it has a contour, so it is rounded. And right along here, that's where that highlight would be. You can see that the boot is facing to the left. So this area right here is gonna be the lightest. So we're gonna pull the color out from the right-hand side. And remember, we don't cross any of the horizontal lines. Make sure you leave those lines. That's what's gonna give us the texture and the contour of the boot. So I wanna make sure we keep the integrity of those lines. This back in here where the heel is, that's gonna be really dark underneath there. So just keep doing this, pull this color out, and we are ready to move on to the next step. So let's add some color now to the boot. And you can add whatever color you like. I um, usually have a mix of things. So this is the number 101 Tropical. This is the number 17 Steel Blue. And I like to mix these two together. They're kind of a neat uh, teal color. And you can just kind of mix until you find a color that you like. And just begin by pulling, putting that color on to where it's the darkest. So in here. And I'm going to do this boot in two colors. So I'm going to start with the teal color up on the top and drag it over. So I'm dipping my brush, pinching it off to make sure that I really have this light. And you start here where it's darkest, and as you go, this should get lighter and lighter and just kind of feather out to the center. And this is where you want that highlight to be. Okay, so once that's dry, come back in again and add a little more color. Remember to stay in between those lines. Don't cross over. And you can do this just, you know, until it's as dark as you want it to be. And if you, if you notice that your color is a little blotchy, pinch your brush off and just blend the color out. Make sure your brush is really dark. Okay, that's about all we have to do on that. So let's add a little warm brown now to our palette. This is the, uh, the number six brown. So I'm gonna add a little of this color here and I'm gonna put it on the bottom part of the boot. This is all up to you. You can choose whatever colors you want. So again, I'm gonna start where it's the darkest and drag it over. So really, really light. Remember, this is a process, so it takes a few passes to get this color on, but it's so fun. And you can see how that sepia color really makes it look like a real thing. We can't ink this stamp in a teal and a brown and expect the same result. It's just not going to look the same. It's not gonna look like an actual object. Okay, be sure to leave that highlight in there. It's so important and just keep dragging this color over to the center. It's so fun to do. Stay in the lines. And remember back here, that's where the color would be the darkest. Okay, and I'm gonna take my, uh, my fine tip of <clears throat> my sepia pen and really darken this in under here. You can see how that just really pops that image out. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. And that is to add our flowers and foliage in now. 
So I'm going to use a little um, post-it note and just cover up the boot here, just on the side. This doesn't have to be exact. You just want to kind of cover that area so that you're not stamping over the top. And I'm using a pretty big uh, stamp here. So I want to make sure that I uh, get that covered. This is the, <clears throat> the cactus now. And I'm using the number 72, so the pine green. And just kind of stamp this in here, just like so. Okay, so we can remove this now. And we can pull this color now out of the lines. And make sure you leave some white areas. You don't want to color all this in solid. Clean my brush off a little better. So pull this color up. The, the, the light will be at the top. So the light is coming down from the top. This is; These are also contoured images, so we wanna be sure that we don't color everything in solid. That's never a good idea. And you know, remember when you color something in the same line to line, it's just gonna be flat. It's always gonna be flat. Then we have to figure out a way to contour it. Okay, so leave those white spaces in there. Kind of drag that color over from where the darkest area would be. Remember the light is kind of coming over here, so this is gonna be dark and add a little more color to it if you want. So here's here's the olive green. <clears throat> so let's add a little of this color now. And just kind of dab it on. You're just kind of dabbing, just like this. Leave those white spaces and just put a little more of this color on. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's about all we have to do with that. So let's go on to our little rocks. And we're going to put these next to that cactus. And I am I am going to use my positioner. So this is the little L bar and the shield that comes with it. So we're just gonna place it in the center just like this and take that little rock stamp. And I'm just gonna ink it up with the sepia. So we're using that sepia again, that three-dimensional color. And just ink it and stamp it into the corner. So just like this, and now we can see exactly where we want to place it. So I think right there is good. I'm gonna place it right there. And I'm going to stamp it. And now this time I just want a few. So I'm gonna add just a couple more, like right in here in the foreground. So only these two <clears throat> that are in the front. So I'm gonna take this, this part off. Just gonna remove that with my thumb. And I'm going to re-ink this again. So just these bottom two, just the two little rocks in the foreground. And I can use my little positioner again. And you can see I'm just using these two. So I think right here is pretty good. And I don't need the, I don't need the mask because I'm not going to stamp over the top. Okay, so just use the two right here, just like this. So now let's pull that color out of the lines. Remember where that color is the darkest in the top. Should always have a highlight on it. So always try not to color everything in solid. Always try to leave those white spaces. It's kind of a thing we have to learn to do because we learn so much about coloring in the lines and it's really kind of hard not to do that. We wanna just complete the whole project and just color everything in. And if you can kind of make yourself do that, learn not to do that, you're gonna be way ahead. Okay, so we've got that color in. So let's add some grasses now into the background. And we're gonna do that with uh, the little grasses from the wagon set. So we have our right and left here. And we're just gonna ink those in green and, and cover this area again. So we wanna cover these rocks up. Remember, it doesn't have to be exact. Let's ink this up. And we're just gonna stamp it a couple of times. So just in here in the background, just like that, and we can remove that. And let's put a couple more over here, right by the toe. So we're gonna do the, the left, just like that. That looks pretty good. And let's put one more in the top of the boot up here. So let's just cover this area. And we're gonna do the one that's going to the right. So let's ink this one up again and just stamp that in to the boot. That looks good. So let's add our water now to it. 
You really don't have to do any of these really tiny lines here where the, um, the grass is, just the bottom where it's the thickest and just on the very top. Just get a little tiny bit of that. So we want these really thin, fine lines. Don't be afraid to make a few more if you want to. That's okay. Okay, let's put some flowers up in here now. And if this is a guy's card, you don't wanna, you wanna skip this step, you can do that. But I don't know, guys like flowers too, don't they? As long as we don't make them pink, maybe. Okay, so let's put this back on here again and put just a few of these uh, long stems in. That looks good. This is so quick and easy to do. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's add uh, some little grasses in now, finish up these rocks. You can see they're kind of open-ended. They need a little um, something to uh, finish them off. So let's use the sepia. And we're just gonna ink the grass now in the sepia. So you can see this kind of almost looks like it's on a hill a little bit. And then let's put, just put a little bit here by the toe. Dip our brush, pinch it off, and go way outside the lines just like we normally do. These things are all meant to stamp the same way. And you get really familiar with them doing that because they're just in everything. Okay, that looks pretty good. We can add a little more color to it from the palette. So if you want to um, add a little brown into your into the ground, um, you can do that. That's that number six. And just brush in a little of this color, just a little bit. Get it that kind of sandy color. And take your fine tip. So your fine tip from the sepia, add a few little dots in here. Kind of give it the idea of some sandy ground. And then let's put a little blue sky in. Let's put a little warm blue sky in. So here's those same colors again. This is the number 17, that um, steel blue or country blue. And just put a little of this color in. Remember the sky, it's just the idea of the sky. So I try to keep it in, in this area where your image is. Don't drag that sky clear out here to the edge of your paper. Just kind of try to keep it in this area where your, uh, where the, the biggest part of your image is. Put a little bit in here, it's okay. Put a little bit in here where the cactuses are, it's also okay. Just as much as you want to do. And we are about finished. Add some glitter to this, that's also really cute. And we are about finished. Be sure to sign and date, that's always a must. And put it on a card or give it away and really make somebody's day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.